Today, I will show you how sputum is produced. First, let's take a look at the structure of the bronchial wall. From the inside to the outside, it is divided into the mucosal layer, submucosal layer, and outer membrane. The mucosal layer has cilia and goblet cells. Cilia can swing toward the throat, and goblet cells can secrete immunity. The submucosal layer is a loose disintegrated tissue with tracheal lines, which open on the mucosal surface. The secretions of the epithelium and tracheal lines are protective devices against dust roads. The secretions contain various immunoglobulins, which have antibacterial and antiviral effects and are part of the body's defense system. The outer membrane is composed of cartilage and fibrous tissue. There are smooth muscle bundles in the membrane wall. When the smooth muscle contracts, it can make the trachea narrower. The surface of the tracheal mucosa is normally covered with mucus. Mucus secretion is conditioned by nerves. Irritants such as dust and smoke can stimulate the secretion of secretions. Dust and bacteria in the inhaled air irritate the tracheal mucosa. The tracheal mucosa secretes more mucus, which adheres to dust and bacteria. The cilia of the mucosa increase in activity and keep swinging toward the larynx, pushing mucus, dust, and bacteria into the laryngeal cavity. The mucosa of the laryngeal cavity is very sensitive. When stimulated by the elastic fluid, it will reflexively cause coughing to expel the elastic fluid from the body. However, if one smokes frequently or is exposed to dusty environments for a long time, excessive and rapid mucus secretion will lead to the formation of sticky mucus that cannot be cleared by cilia or coughing, which will clog the smaller bronchi and cause infection, leading to bronchitis, COPD, and lung diseases.